service vehicle is an excellent example of an enterprise white label app store that has been customized for a commercial fleet. Just like the Kindle Fire, we have reskinned the Android OS to create a customized set of applications that can be used by the service provider technician, first responder, or delivery employee. Okay, I've arrived at the customer premise and you'll see inside my diagram that I'm working on this box right here. I'm a junior technician and I need some help. I've found a problem with this box and I'd like to contact my senior technician and what I'm going to do is I'm going to transmit uh, this photo or this this video to him and he's going to be able to see exactly what I see. Now I'm going to telestrate to him the area of, of the problem that I think it is so I've just sent that to him and I'm going to get a response from him showing me where the problem really is. So now my senior technician is saying focus on this area right here and he's telling me exactly what he wants me to do. I got an email when I first got into my connected service vehicle that I have to do a training session. So you'll see under HD Now, I select that button and here's a list of videos that are local on the tablet itself. But this particular video training session is in the cloud, so what I'm going to use is the Alcatel Lucent Velocix Content Delivery Network to actually get that video. So here I've selected remote, these videos are out in the cloud, and what I'm going to do is now select a video, and in just a second you're going to see that a video is starting to play for me. Now I can complete a training video exercise without actually having to drive back to the office. In the past, service provider technicians would have to write up daily notes on what I actually accomplished for the day, but now I can use video shift log to record exactly what I did and then upload that into the network. So I'll show you an example of a video shift log that we have used. I'm going to select that. Here's the MPEG-4 that I created, and now you're seeing just an example of me uploading a, a video of just uh, an action that I completed earlier in the day. Now we're going to move into fleet control. One of the NG Connect partners is called iVox, and iVox creates this application called Driver Score. Uh, in the fleet management world, uh, we have a network operations center that knows exactly how I'm driving, and now I have the application right in my vehicle that allows me to know what's, how I'm driving as well. So I'm going to select my driver score, which is going to tell me and give me a rating of how well I'm driving. Now this bar is going to change better or worse based on my driving habits. We also have an eco uh, 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 piece to my driving to how fast am I driving, am I on and off the gas hard and again I get a rating system. Uh, in the third I get another selection where I'm actually able to uh, get ex real examples of how fast I was driving, how much of the time and how many of the miles were driven above the speed limit and not only do I see it as the driver but again my fleet manager is seeing this exact example. I'll move to the last scenario and I'm going to show you a, a picture of New York here. This is, this is an example of a driver who is misbehaving and I'm going to show you the exact speeding map of where this driver was misbehaving. So started here, ended there, and here's where he was speeding and the incident occurred. Now what this driver score can do is you can take the ratings of your actual drivers and go to your insurance company and get a premium discount where you can actually show that your drivers are behaving properly. Another NG Connect uh, partner down here in the bottom that gives me uh, an example of, uh, of interactive example of if, if I'm too hard in the brakes or too high in the gas and it's called Sky Meter. And so Sky Meter gives me a real time example of what's going on in my driving styles. I have a live two-way video call that I can complete. So I'm able to select this. Uh, this is another NG Connect par partner called Video. Now I'm going to log in and here I'm going to select my contacts and now I can see that Matt is on board. I'm going to select Matt and I'm going to make a call to him. I can have a live two-way video call conversation with him. Video not only does live two-way video calling, but it also does sharing of documents as well, which makes it a very powerful tool to have at my disposal while I'm in my connected service vehicle. So again, you can now see, I'm just going to bring my head in a little bit. I'm over here on this side, and now we can see Matt. Matt's one of my senior technicians. Again, if I need help, I'm able to communicate with Matt and make sure that I get the right information so that I can be efficient on my job and I can see vehicle maintenance. This is where I get the agnostic information that's going on within the vehicle itself. So now we're assessing the vehicle. You can see that here. And in just a second, I'm going to get an assessment of how my connected service vehicle is behaving and if there's any issues with it. So it'll be nice for me to know whether I have any issues with my vehicle. And if so, 
my network operations center will be, be aware of that issue and they can come out and help me fix my right rear tire because I've got a problem here and, I've be, and it's indicating to me that I, sh I better address that issue. Sure. Voxer allows me to do a push to talk feature so it's just another way that I can communicate with the people around me so I'm going to select uh, another one of my senior technicians and now I'm going to talk to him. Hey Eve, can you pick up that part for me and bring it over to 48th Street for me? No longer do I have to go back to the shop and talk to them or maybe talk to them you know, the next morning before I go out to complete the work. Okay, the last thing I want to show you under the uh, service provider technician piece is really a community uh, of applications. And I like to think of these are as policy-based applications where the Alcatel-Lucent network has the ability to turn on Facebook or Twitter during my lunch hour. They can actually enable these applications from 12 till 1. At 1 o'clock, Dave's no longer able to use these applications. And the Alcatel-Lucent network using application enablement has the ability to turn these applications on or off. So if they so choose, you will be able to use them.